Hi, this is Erin Peliquin from MCP Actions. Today I'm going to show you how to install and use our Illuminate presets for Lightroom. Illuminate works in versions of Lightroom beginning with Lightroom 4. Once you've downloaded them onto your computer, they will be somewhere on your hard drive. Now on my computer, my presets go directly to my downloads folder when I download them. Depending on your computer configuration, your downloads might go somewhere else. The download comes in a zipped or compressed format, and you do need to unzip it before you can use the presets. In most cases, you can simply double click on the folder to unzip it. Other times you can right click and select something like unzip, uncompress, extract, whatever the terminology is on your computer. When you have unzipped Illuminate, you'll see that you now have one zipped folder, one extracted folder, and then within it four separate folders, which are the presets to be installed into Lightroom. Now the next step is to go directly to Lightroom and locate your preferences. If you're on a Mac, preferences are found under the Lightroom menu. If you're on a PC, they'll be in your Edit menu. So because I'm on a Mac, I'm going to go to Lightroom, select Preferences, and I want to be on the Presets tab of this window. Now we're going to look at this location checkbox that says store presets with this catalog. If you've installed presets before, you want the setting to be the same now as it was for the last set. So you'll either leave it checked or leave it unchecked depending on what you did before. If you've never installed presets before, I recommend that you leave this box unchecked. Now if you install presets and found that you have lost another set of previously installed presets, then that means that you have selected the incorrect status for this setting and you need to reinstall those presets using the other setting. So once you've decided whether to leave this box checked or unchecked, you'll click on show your Lightroom presets folder and it will take you to this folder on your hard drive that says Lightroom. You're going to start by clicking on your develop presets folder now, if you've never installed presets here before, you will probably only have this user presets folder. I'm going to return to the download and I am going to copy the three folders called Illuminate Anywhere, Illuminate Horizontal, and Illuminate Vertical. To select those three, I can click on the first one and then holding down Command or Control, click on the other two to select. From there, I will right click to select copy. You could also type command or control C to copy. And then I'll go back to my develop presets folder and right click to paste these presets into the Lightroom folder where they belong. So I've just installed the develop presets. I've got another section of presets to, in to install and those are the local presets. So from develop, I am going to click on the Local Adjustments Presets folder. And again, if you've not installed Local Adjustments before, you will not have as many in this folder as I do. Returning to my download, I am going to open the Illuminate Local Adjustments folder. This time I'm not copying the entire folder, I'm only copying the individual presets inside it. So clicking on the first one, I'm going to hold down the Shift button and click on the last one to select all of them. I will right click and select copy and then right clicking on local adjustments I will paste the items into the folder. And so the last step of the installation process is to restart Lightroom and we'll find our new presets once Lightroom has restarted. Okay so now that Lightroom has reopened I am going to go to my develop module and show you where these new presets are located. Within your presets panel on the left, you should now see three Illuminate folders, one for Illuminate Anywhere, one for Illuminate Horizontal, and then a third for Illuminate Vertical. Now the presets inside the horizontal and vertical folders are identical. You use the horizontal ones for photos with horizontal orientation like this one. You use the vertical folder for photos with vertical orientation like this one. 
Now we've also installed our local presets, which can be found over here in any of the three local adjustment tools. I suggest that you use the graduated filter or possibly the radial filter for best results. So selecting the graduated filter, I'll pull down the effect drop down menu and you can see now that I've got this selection of MCP light. So I've got eight colors and two effects for each color. So MCP light, deep blue and deep blue blur golden and golden blur, etc. I'll give you a quick overview of the way these presets work and then we'll actually get into applying them to some photos. Now starting with the develop presets, we've got horizontal and vertical, which work, as I said earlier, on photos that match the orientation. So for a vertical photo like this, I would open the illuminate vertical photo. Now please note that if you're going to use the graduated filter tool for any editing, you do need to apply the illuminate presets first. And this first preset reminds you of that. So use these presets before using the graduated filter. So you can see that you've got again a series of eight colors with several variations on each color. So due to the constraints of Lightroom, these presets can only be applied one per image. So for instance, you could apply golden sunlight from the top, or you could apply rosy sun rays, but you can't apply them both. So you can certainly click on as many of them as you like to try them out, but the final one that you click is going to be the only one that works on your image. Note that there's also a reset at the bottom of each section. So in Illuminate Anywhere, you've got three sections, light wash, movable light bands, and movable light bursts. So light wash is made with the graduated filter, just like the presets in our horizontal and vertical folders. That means that you can only apply one of them. So either one from the vertical or horizontal folder or one of the light washes. And again, you need to use these light washes before applying any graduated filters of your own. So these, these presets cover your entire photo. Now sections B and C of Illuminate Anywhere are made with the radial filter. So you could apply one graduated filter preset like the deep blue wash as well as one radial filter preset. So this does include both. Now note that you do need to use the radial filter presets before using any custom presets of your own. And you do have two sections using the radial filter. So you can only use either one light band or one light burst, but not one of each. Now note that I can only apply one of the develop presets either, as I said, one graduated or one radial filter. However, I can apply one develop preset and as many of these local presets as I want. So after applying the rosy light band, I could go over here and choose a rosy preset or any other preset for that matter, and I can paint it on this way. So they are stackable if you take one develop preset and then as many of the local presets as you'd like. Okay, so I've already edited this photo from Lori Schloss. I started here, and using MCP's Infusion presets for Lightroom, I've arrived at this edit. So for this image, to enhance it, I'm just going to add a little touch of sunshine. And looking at my Illuminate Vertical, I'm going to choose the sheer sunlight from the top left. So because my sun seems to be coming kind of from this side, I'm going to select sheer sunlight from the top left. And you can see that that nicely lights up this image and makes it feel more like a sunny day. Now, because this preset was made with the graduated filter, I can adjust it using the graduated filter if I want to. So by turning on my graduated filter and, type, and looking at the pins in the image, you can see that applying this one preset added two pins to the image. I can click on either of the pins to put the black dot in it, which means that it's active for editing. And then I can move it if I want to change the way the light flows in the image. Or with the pin active for editing, I can actually change the settings. So if I thought that this one was too bright, 
I could adjust the exposure over here using the graduated filter settings. Now moving on to this image by Lindsay Gutierrez, we have already edited this one as well using MCP's Infusion presets. We started out here and used Infusion to edit the image to this point. I'm going to add more to it now using our Illuminate presets. So for this image, I'm going to use Illuminate Anywhere's Light Wash section. And I am going to apply the Deep Blue Wash, which gives an all over effect to your photo. You can see that it adds a very faint blue tint and also lightens up the image and softens it. Now when using the light wash, these again are made with the graduated filter tool, so you need to use them before using any other graduated filter tools. Also, note that your pins are not visible on the image. So to display the pins, you need to use the navigator panel and zoom out to the furthest level you can. Um, 1 to 16 works well. And you can see that your pins are actually off to the side of your image. Now, depending on the size of your monitor, you might be able to see the pins without zooming out. But if you can't see them, make sure first to press the letter H to hide or unhide the pins, and then zoom out if you can't see them after hiding them and unhiding them. Once the pin is displayed, you can click on it to edit, just like you would any other preset. And then by clicking the Fit button, you can zoom back out. Moving on to this silhouette image by Daniel Moore. Again, we did edit this one also using MCP's Infusion. So for this photo, we started out here and took the image to this point. Now this image gives us lots of opportunity for using the Illuminate presets. I'm going to start by using our rosy wash all over, which adds a pink feel to the image. And next, I can apply one of the light bands. And I am going to use the rosy light band number two. And you can see that this puts kind of a stream of sunlight down the side of your image. Now remember that I can use two presets because the light bands are made with the radial filter and the washes are made with the graduated filter. So because I'm using two separate tools, I can stack these two developed presets. Now, if I wanted to adjust or relocate either of them, I would activate the appropriate tool. So say that I want to adjust the light band. Because it is made with the radial filter, I am going to turn on my radial filter. Now, one other thing that's important to note is that these radial filters are only available in Lightroom 5 and later. So if you've got Lightroom 4, you won't be able to use these presets at all. Once you've activated your radial filter, you do want to type the letter H to display your pin, and then click on it to edit. And from here, you can move it if you wanted to. So when you want to move a radial filter, you need to click on the pin to activate it, and then somewhere within the filter, but not over the pin, you click and drag to move it to the location of your choosing. So we could do something like that. You could also adjust the size of the filter if you wanted to, again, by zooming out so that you can grab the end boxes and clicking and dragging to change the size. So you can customize this any way that you want. With the filter activated for editing, you can also actually change the settings that make it if you want it brighter or darker. Um, and you can minimize these settings over here to adjust the strength of all the settings together. So you can make the entire effect stronger or weaker, whatever suits your photo. I'm going to zoom back out now so that we can see the edit. And I like the sun actually coming right over here through the brightest part of the clouds. I think that's really effective for this photo. Now, if I wanted to add other effects, I certainly could by using either the radial filter or the graduated filter. So we recommend using either the graduated filter or the radial filter, but probably not as much the adjustment brush when using the Illuminate presets. So what I can do now is go to my effect menu and select one of the light presets. And I'll go ahead and stick with Rosie. 
So I am going to select Rosy, and then with my radial filter activated, I'm going to click and drag just behind the kids. And I can relocate this filter just by clicking and dragging. And when you apply it, the effect is primarily applied around the edges, so outside of your selection. However, if I wanted to reverse that, I could do so by selecting Invert Mask. And now the effect is being applied inside my radial filter. So there it is again affecting the edges of the image, and here it is affecting only inside the selection. You can see the pink wash appearing behind the kids. And finally, going to our other version of this image that we used with the enchanting preset from MCP's Infusion, I am going to add another preset or two from Illuminate to this image. So I'm going to start with the orange burst of sunshine, which is from the Anywhere folder. And you can see that it does add a nice orange light behind the kids. Now clicking on this, this is a radial filter tool, and I've got my radial filter activated. I'm going to click on the dot to activate it, and then just center it a bit over the subject of the photo. If I want to make it larger, I can. Holding down the shift key, while I drag, we'll make sure that these, the filter stays in a perfect circle. And so I can make it as large or as small as I want to. I can also go now to my MCP horizontal section and add golden sunlight from the top if I want to continue the feeling of gold in the image. I think I like it without. I like the darker image though, so I'm going to type Command or Control Z to undo. So in this video, we have covered how to use MCP's Illuminate presets for Lightroom 4 and 5. We've talked about how to apply the presets, how they can be stacked, and how to use and adjust the local presets, uh, the graduated filter and the radial filter. Visit our website at www.mcpactions.com for more information about Illuminate or to purchase this collection of presets. Thanks so much for watching this video.